Hey guys, it's Mike here. We're back. Figured I'd show you one of these other builds that I've had. I'd kind of let it go. Uh, but this here is, uh, this was supposed to be a basically a rescue cart for when we had 82 Speedway. I was in the process of building it. Uh, when we had the track down there, I was going to mount uh, fire extinguishers to it, uh, jump box, stuff like that. Basically just a rescue cart. I picked this cart up for, I believe it was a hundred bucks. The guy wanted to uh, put a motorcycle engine. He was in the process of putting a motorcycle engine in and uh, he just didn't have the means of uh, doing it at the time. So he's like, I just want to get rid of it. And then I picked it up and uh, I did a little bit of work to it. Uh, not too much. The original plan was I had an opposed twin. I was going to stick under the seats here crap on it. I don't think I could show you. I was going to put a, a horizontal V-twin under it. Horizontal twin opposed. And uh, put it under the seat. But it was so tall that I couldn't make that work. I, I made a basket underneath to lower the engine down. Just add a junk square tubing. And I, I scrapped that idea. I didn't want to put that much motor and heat underneath there. It wouldn't get no airflow and stuff like that. Well then I found this motor that's on it now. This motor is a 35 horsepower uh, Briggs Generac industrial engine. I picked this motor up for a guy, I believe it was a hundred bucks again. It did run, but the crankshaft, it was a, a tapered crankshaft because this was a motor for a generator. So I went ahead and pulled the engine apart. I put a brand new crankshaft in it. The only crankshaft I can get for this engine was an inch and seven eighths, so it's a very large crankshaft. So what I was the plan was to, I have my sprocket, my locks on here, and all that, and it's been sitting outside, so everything's now rusted together. But run the sprocket, the gear, the chain off of here, and then run my clutch off the transmission for the golf cart. And what I did was, I just ma machined the hub, and then I put a shaft through it, and then I put a uh, bearing. Let me see if I can show the bearing. I put a bearing on the one end and put the shaft with a collar and then I welded it to the diff. Same thing with this engine plate. I welded this engine plate onto the back of the differential for the golf cart to support it because I wanted it to move with the uh, rear end so I don't have to add a bunch of chain tensioners and this and that. But that's your that's just the cross shaft that I added in there so I can change gears or you know if I wanted to add more gears I could but it's got a new starter on it and all that so as far as a golf cart this is plenty of power the stock rating is 35 horsepower the, I'm sure the torque is somewhere around maybe 40 if not matched to 35 but I started this motor up uh, I kind of not lost interest in it I parked it because I had carburetor issues and needs a new carburetor you know, I started to make a, a throttle plate for it that bolts off the manifold, and uh, I just got fed up with it, so I parked it. So it needs a new carburetor and probably a couple more things now, but it has an oil cooler on it and all that. Welded in the engine plate for it, but basically it's just uh, two by two quarter inch box tubing. That's it's got that's the heaviest part of the uh, heaviest structural part of the frame now. But it's just welded on the back of the differential and uh, just wanted it on the back. So no one's done it on the back. They've always done it under the seat and this and that. So I want it on the back, one for airflow. Two, you know, it looks cool hanging out the back. So there's the side of it there with the flywheel and all that. And it looks like it's sitting really low because the tire's flat. I mean, it's been sitting for a while now. And as far as this header here, I was going to cut this header down and make a header for it that looped around the bottom or come up through the top and then I even thought about an idea of making a header and come up to a turbocharger and then off the turbocharger making an uh, adapter plate to send the uh, boost in through the carburetor but I know that wouldn't work too well so I'd probably have to put the carburetor on the front of the turbocharger but just speculation on that uh, maybe we'll see videos in the uh, future on this because like I said, once we, we basically shut the track down at 82, this kind of got put on hold. So it's just been sitting here. 
because I've been crossed up with the idea of removing the whole rear end completely and just doing cut out the whole bottom frame of this thing and do a square tube frame with a live axle and this and that, you know, so I can get it direct from the motor to the rear. But things change. You never know what direction will go with this, but basically this could be a, another future build, a big block uh, V-twin golf cart build and two all the weights on the rear end you never know it may pop some wheelies and if it does I already got the wheelie bar on the back pretty much just gotta add a little wheel so really just to finish this up it's just wiring gauges carburetor chain clutch and putting air in the tires and the brakes are still factory brakes on golf carts are pretty good so I don't have to worry about that too much but other than that though maybe we'll see this one in the future thanks for watching guys you have a good one